debating with myself if I want to go ahead and just straighten my hair or if I want to keep it wavy and just accentuate the waves. I mean, from the back, it looks pretty good as well. I'm like, I have time to straighten it. But at the same time, I'm like, I kind of like the waves right now. I'm going to use the Ava NYC Wave Spray and then the Amica Volume and Texture Spray for like up here. So that there's some texture towards the top. And then the waves are getting accentuated. I'm going to spray this in my hands. And then use the product like this. Cute! Okay, that just saved me a ton of time too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, have some breakfast, and then I'm gonna go ahead and head out and go to church. So I'll come back to you guys once I'm done with that. It's probably gonna be around lunchtime, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with our Sunday reset routines. I think the last thing I vlogged was I'm about to go to church. Well, I'm back from church. This day took like a whole different turn. What happened was I was trying to edit a client video and my hard drive for some reason got like so full, which makes no sense at all. First of all, I have a terabyte external hard drive. The project that I'm working on claims to be 600 gigabytes. So you would think I would have like 300, 400 gigabytes left over. No, it won't even let me do a single thing. So what we had to do is I had to run out to Best Buy and get a brand new external hard drive so I can move my project over to the new hard drive so I can actually make edits on this video. It's so insane. This is like the second time this has happened to me, but the first time I was able to like move some projects out of the external hard drive and on my desktop. I know this is really like technical. I have a new hard drive. Honestly, this was like much needed. Like it had to happen at some point because I've had this one for like quite a few years. So I got again another Lacey, but this is a five terabyte instead of a one terabyte. Over 600 gigabytes of storage on this little project. This is my editing project for Final Cut Pro. Two hours. It keeps bouncing back between two and three hours. So I still have one other client video that I have to get done and I think the deadline is either like tomorrow or Tuesday so I really got to get this done. While that is going I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my room a little bit and just do my Sunday reset things. I got like makeup brushes to clean that kind of stuff. Um, and then later tonight, I think I'm going to just cram out all of the editing for my other client video, the one with the close deadline, get that out, and then I can worry about this little one tomorrow. So that's the game plan. Before we get on to the cleaning, the first thing I'm going to do is my finances. I like to do this every couple weeks on Sundays. So what I'll do is I'll get all of my physical receipts and I'll highlight the dates and if there's any business expenses involved I'll highlight those as well and plug it into my notion sheet so in my notion I like to track my business expenses so I can gather it all for the upcoming tax season as well as record my earnings and then after that I will do various things I'll pay my credit card bill if I need to I'll transfer some of my earnings into a savings account for taxes I'll update or cancel any subscriptions if I need to. I'll do my tithing, all of the computer stuff and the organization things with my finances. I like to do around every other Sunday, if not once a month.
home transfer, so if you don't mind me, I'm gonna get ready for bed, going to bed, and be in an editing hole. Um, I think I'm gonna do a face mask tonight too. That sounds like really relaxing and fun, but we're just gonna set some good editing mode vibes, so. the Vivini kitchen utensil holder. I just received mine and I love the simplistic look it has. It's oh my gosh, it looks so creepy. I am going to take this mask off and go to bed. I think I did enough work today. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to give you a quick update um, about the video I was just editing earlier in the vlog because it's actually the same video I filmed for in my UGC content creator day of my life video. So the update on that was I submitted the video and she wanted subtitles. So I did exactly subtitles, which basically I guess I can open up this video. Basically, she just wanted me to make some points like this, like simplistic design and whatever the key points were in that script. She wanted me to include you know, perfect for any home design style. This, this video actually turned out really good, like the lighting and everything. But, um, okay, going back to here. So I sent her the updated copy and she approved the milestone, which is awesome. And then reached out to me later on for a, another product. And I know Upwork can be totally hit or miss with UGC content creation, but she actually sent me more money than the proposed amount I gave her because she actually tipped me. She like sent me another payment um, outside of that just because I got it done quick and to cover the Upwork like payment fees that they took in the original payment. So that was also really cool. So yeah, I've definitely had my fair share of like ghosting on Upwork and not having the best communication through there. But most of the time I've actually gotten like pretty good results and pretty good feedback and communication from other people in Upwork. So I wanted to include that little update on here as I close off this vlog, cause I really didn't close it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you do wanna see the behind the scenes of creating that video, go ahead and check out my UGC content creator day in the life. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.